I'm back at school and I'm getting everything ready for when you come back to school so I can't wait to see you all soon. Right, today I thought I would read you a story and this story is called The Way Home for Wolf. Okay, so if you've got it at home you can follow along but if not then you can just listen and look at the book next to me. Right, let's start. As a rainbow of light flickered soft in the night, dusting diamonds of ice in a desert of white, the wild whipping wind, it whistled its tune to a howling of wolves and a shimmering moon. And the loudest arrow in this echoing song was a wolf called Wilf at the heart of the throng. He loved to be fierce and he longed to be grown he liked to try everything all on his own. Look at me, I am big, I am tough, he would growl, whilst he showed off his strength and he practised his prowl. One night it was time for the wolves to move on. New folks had moved in and their shelter was gone. So they left right away to find a new cave. They would have to walk far and they'd have to be brave. Let's go, shouted Wilf. I am ready to lead. You're too small, laughed the wolves. It's an elder we need. One day, they advised, you will guide from the front. I suppose, muttered Wilf, with a huff and a grunt. They struggled through snow as high as their flanks and they leapt over rocks as they scaled icy banks. Wilf gave all his gave his all to keep pace and keep up, but strong-willed as he was, he was still just a pup. He kept dropping back with each clamber and climb as the pack journeyed further away all the time. Exhausted and breathless, he strayed off the track when a blizzard blew in and he lost his way back. Wilf longed to howl, help, and to holler it loud, but his throat was too hoarse and his heart was too proud. He lay on the tundra, his tail curled up tight, a blanket of stars was his bed for the night. Until, crack, went the ice, crack. Wilf jumped up to all fours with a deafening shriek. He stuck out the claws on every limb. He had to hold on because Wilfings can't swim. Then he fell and he fell, rolling and spinning. It felt like the end, but it was just the beginning. Since somebody down there had heeded his scream and she swooped from beneath like a watery dream. I'll help you, she called. Just reach for my horn. A majestic and magical sea unicorn. Wilf's pride washed away and he stretched out a paw as she lifted him gently back onto the shore. Don't worry, she sung before dipping her brow. My friend, Mr. Walrus, will help you out now. And there, right behind him, a huge tusky fellow lifted his whiskers and let out a bellow. To the ridge, he proclaimed with his chin in the air, my friend, mighty muskox, will take you from there. And with waftings of fish and a very loud snort, their journey was made and their travel seemed short. And there, sure enough, on the ridge was the ox, who took Wilf as far as his friend, Arctic Fox, who followed his nose through the trees to a goose, who guided him honking, to his ancient moose. The moose knew these wilds like no other soul. He was steady and true in pursuit of their goal. And as twilight closed in, moose sang out a call to a flittering, fluttering, tiny bluff ball. A bear moth who showed Wilf the rest of the way to the place where this waffling most wanted to stay. Thank you, Wilf waved as he rejoined his pack and the wolves howled with joy that their wolfling was back. They huddled him and cuddled him in close and fussed over him which wolf had missed the most. Wolf, he knew then that when all came together, 
the darkest of times are easy to weather. So he vowed to the narwhal, ox, walrus and goose, and vowed to the fox and the moth and the moose, if I, if I ever meet one who strayed up the track, I'll help them along by guiding them back. And true to his word, Wolf is different now, and his world seems much smaller and warmer somehow. Since wherever life takes you, wherever you roam, we're all just a handful of friendships from home. Oh, that was a really nice story, so I hope you've enjoyed that, and I'll see you all soon. Bye!